Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. Today we are out here to find the line on another new obstacle that is extremely challenging. The last time I came out RC crawling, I found this spot and I was unable to get up it. I brought two of my RCs with me. One of them I made some modifications and changes to specifically to try and get up this obstacle. I put larger tires on my capper. You're gonna see that here in a second, but I'm excited to get after it. Let's go see if we can get this line done and find our way through this super tough obstacle. All right, guys, at this point, we have dropped down into the canyon. This is going to be my first attempt up this wall. Let's see how are we framed up? Not too bad. Got the GoPro back mounted on the controller. And then we've got this climb here. Now, let me explain why I've got the 2.2 tires on here, because these are a little bit taller. But there's a specific reason why. Uh, the front right tire is going to end up in this little moon shape area right here. And the last time I was running in here, I was actually driving the tire all the way in. And then it gets caught on this little tiny rock lip up here. As the tire starts to come up, the top runs to that, and it will not climb up. So what I want to do is try and get my tire to bridge from here to here, and then actually drive up and around on the right side. So I put the 2.2 inch Ibex tires on here. These things are really big compared to my other two twos. So we're going to see what we can get done with this setup on the Capra. If anything, if this doesn't work, I honestly wonder if a smaller tire would be a better choice. I did try my comp rig and it got it way up into this rock, but uh, on the last try, I was unable to get the comp rig to get up this. I did bring it with me in my truck, so we may or may not end up bringing that out as well. Okay, I like where I'm at, but that front end is still a little bit light. There we go. So just like I explained, got that tire up on the right side there. Let's see if we can get this rear end to stick to the wall and get that front right to climb. Ah, oh, it slipped in. Okay. I don't know if there's much saving it from here. I think we're in trouble. be taking a reset already yeah let's get this out of there and drop it back down again okay that was attempt number one guys you can hear my dog panting up a storm behind me as she's leaning into me and bumping my arms around that's sydney she loves attention hi hello good dog I mean, we can try my line I was getting into last time and see what happens. Yeah, see that? The front top edge of this tire wants to start driving up into the rock up here, and it doesn't let the truck go forward. It rolls it back downhill. So let's try it. Wiggle our front steering through here. That's about what happens. The truck sits here and rocks and goes forward and backwards. That's as close as I can get it. If I could get those rear tires hooked in there, I could probably work the front end up. But as of now, I just can't quite do it without those rear tires hooked on that ledge. And then I stuffed these Ibex tires around them. Ooh, ooh. Come on, baby. Furthest we've gotten yet. <laughs> Damn it. Because I got so much traction on this back tire, it may have forced the front end up through there. So I think that's gonna be the key to this one. All right, guys, we got the Capra chilling off over there. The motor and the servos were starting to warm up. So now we got the SCX-102 on Capra axles. This is my competition rig. I'm sure you guys have seen it before if you are a subscriber on my channel. I've got the BFG uh, in the Predator compounds from Proline Racing. It is possible to get a tag axle rig up in here. So pretty impressive, no doubt. You just gotta get your rear axle lined up where you need it. 
So a lot smaller tire, this may play out to be an advantage. Um, I haven't made it up the obstacle, so I don't know which one is the recipe to do it. Pretty dang cool that this rig can get up in there though, for sure. Now, we're gonna be working hard on these uh, Rock Pirates RC sliders. <laughs> Turns out you had to turn right to uh, get this truck to climb up. So now we gotta get the body to get through here, which is a little tough because this front fender starts running under the rock, which any amount of extra resistance is bad. So just gotta work this front end. See, now we got back tire equal with where the capper got it, which is incredible in itself that this rig can get up there. Um, but now I do not have a dig unit on this truck. So like it has to stay in four wheel drive and I have to figure out a way to get my front tires up this ledge. If I got to take the body off of this crawler and try it, we're going to try that here in a second. Let's ditch the body. Let's see how far that'll get us. And it's, it gets so close. Like, it almost has it. I truly believe this obstacle is possible to drive up. I just need to figure out how. I mean, we can see the suspension up underneath there. Oh shit, oh shit. Come on, come on. Give it to me, come on. That tire's trapped under the ledge, I need to wiggle it around. I just need to get that front tire around that little rock, come on. Screw it, I'm gonna bind the shit out of this thing. <laughs> This is how you break things, guys. I gotta go forward, come on. Oh, it was right there, and it fell all the way down. And I probably burned something up. <laughs> oh man, that was so close. Damn it. Oh, we lost our servo. Yeah, servo is quite spicy right now, all right. We'll let her cool off, see what happens. Oh, we're, we might be in business here, guys. We got this tire hooked up really well. I'm just trying to get this thing to engage and dig. We're losing it. This one doesn't have the power that that brushless system does. That brushless system will straight up destroy the 10-2 if it wants. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! All right, Kaffer, come on. We can get out of here. Let's do it. We just wiggled our way in. See, the rear steer did it because the front tire couldn't turn sharp enough to allow that ledge to slip past. So I turned the rear steer this way to allow it to drop down in. So now we just gotta get this thing positioned and get up this final climb. So let's see what happens. This truck is uh, pretty bound up and now it's a real steep climb, especially with the back tires down in the hole like that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys, just for the sake of time and not having to buy three new servos today, I'm gonna flip the truck back up there. Let's wiggle it back in, back down in there. We have to see if this climb is possible and then I'll try and get a clean climb if we figure out if it can be done. All right, guys, here's the view from the top. You can see we're straddling both walls. 
and uh, let's try and get this front passenger tire hooked on that little wedge and see if that'll give me the traction I need to pull the car up. Okay, so I turned left. I'm hoping that enough of the tire patch here, hoping that enough of the tire patch here I can kind of turn back into, load up the sidewall like that, and then drive on up, so. Okay, we got the front full of traction. Probably gonna have to turn into the wall. Oh no, I lost the front traction. This thing's real light, it wants to flip over, I can tell. Man, oh man, it's so close guys, yet here we are. This is a super tough one dudes, I'm hoping I can get up this thing, but uh, it's time to pet the dog and hang out for a second, get chill. Uh, my hand was cramping up a little bit, which is funny to say, but the controller with the GoPro on it's quite a bit heavier, so we're going to get back to it here in a second. Oh man, I really want to make this climb. All right, guys, down to our last resort, dropping 1.9 inch tires on the Capra. And now we're gonna see if the rear steering dig can get the one nines up through here. Come on, come on. Right there, it's almost dark, give it to me. At least let me get one shot at climbing the last wall. I think we've officially been denied on find the line. Capra with big two twos and small one nines. Predator compound on both tires, so like neither one of them is a slouch. I could not get up through here, but uh, you can see this black dust. That's all tires, all the way down in here. All this black dust is all RC tires, which is hilarious. Uh, yeah, working away at these rocks. I'm gonna polish them all smooth by the time this thing ever makes it. Got some rubber down here where it's working on it. Damn it. Well, dudes, I'm sorry, but uh, obviously I wanted to make it, but occasionally when you go out and try crazy stuff like this, you do get denied. So let me know what you think of a video where I get denied on an obstacle, even though I gave it literally everything I had. I tried different wheels and tires. I took this truck apart while I was out here to put it onto the Capra, and now I gotta pack it all up and get out of here. Please drop a comment. I'm very curious to hear what you guys want to see. If you don't wanna see any more of these, let me know and I will stop making them. Until next time, be sure to hit the affiliate links down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit me up on Instagram at West Desert Wheeler, and we will see you guys in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.